We're gonna be gluing our totem poles to this base um, just because they're a little topsy-turvy. We don't want them to fall over. So this is actually gonna be where you sign your work. Down in the lower left-hand corner, I want you to write your name. And down here in the lower right-hand corner, you need to write your class. Snap that cap, give it a nap. You can put that to the side. Now it's time to glue our totem poles together. You need to think about what animals you want to go where. And before you start gluing, you actually need to take time to place them. After you're done figuring out where you want your animal parts to be placed, we're gonna be using Elmer's glue today. When you use it, you have to untwist the cap and we shake it upside down one, two, three times, just like we would a ketchup bottle. I've already glued down my fish and dog and eagle, and you can see because of placement, I had to overlap the tail a little, and I had to overlap the ears on top of the eagle. The eagle head ran off just a little, and that would be fine for a totem pole. Now my wings are gonna go behind the head so that it looks something like that. Instead of putting the glue there, I know that it has to go here, and I'm gonna take my Elmer's glue and give it a nice zigzag, zig, zag, zig, zag. Once I have it zigzagged, I can put my wings where they go. And anytime you put one of the animal parts on, you need to hold it for 30 seconds and you can count to 30 in your head. And that's what your totem looks like after you have glued on all of your animal parts. What we're gonna do last is glue this to the base where we put our name and our class um, because we don't want our totem poles to fall over. So the best way to do this is to run a bead of glue around the bottom of your pole and then immediately put it down in the very middle of the card. You can actually then squeeze just a little bit of glue at the very base. If you get a little on your animal, that's okay because it will dry clear. And what I've kind of done was made a ring all the way around the bottom of the totem pole. Remember when you're finished with the glue, twist the cap shut, wipe off any glue so that it doesn't dry closed. And now we're gonna move our totem pole over to the table or shelf to dry. And that is a finished totem pole inspired by the Haida Native Americans. Good job today, artists.